The pH of the human vagina ranges from around 3.8 to 4.5, or mildly acidic, similar to that of wine or honey. To maintain this pH, trillions of lactobacillus bacteria produce lactic acid, the same compound that gives yogurt and sourdough bread their tangy taste. Yum! On average, the vagina produces 1 to 3 milliliters of vaginal fluid a day, peaking at around 10 to 15 milliliters during ovulation. Because of the electrolytic ions such as sodium, potassium, and chloride present in the vaginal fluid, the electrical conductivity is around 0.5 to 5 millisiemens per centimeter. <laughs> millisiemens. A lemon battery, using citric acid, can produce around 0.9 volts at 1 milliamp, or 0.9 milliwatts per cell. Using the same principles, it would take around 50 milliliters of vaginal fluid to produce the same amount of power in a juice-powered electrochemical cell. To generate 5 watts, or enough to charge your phone, you'd need around 5,500 vaginal fluid batteries, adding up to around 275 liters, or 72.7 gallons, of vaginal fluid in total. To generate 10 megawatts, or around the energy necessary to power a small city, you'd need over a half a million liters, or about 147 million gallons, of vaginal fluid. To power the city of Los Angeles entirely on vaginal fluid electrochemical cells, you would need 5.33 trillion cells adding up to over 266.67 billion liters or 70.45 billion gallons of vaginal fluid. And if the entire ocean suddenly turned to vaginal fluid that you converted into individual vaginal fluid electrochemical cells, you could produce almost 24 terawatts, or about 1.5 times the amount of power the Earth uses on any given moment. That gives a whole new meaning to power.